Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today I will show you this DC to DC voltage doubler, which is based on a 555 timer and a Villar cascade multiplier. The Villar cascade is an arrangement of diodes and capacitors that produces at its output double the voltage of its input, but it needs AC or pulsating DC in order to work. If you are interested in the theory, in the video description I give you a link to another video where I discuss the theory of working. The circuit is very simple, just a few components. It consists of a 555 timer in a stable mode, that is, it produces a train of pulses. And in another video that I give you also in the description, I discuss the working of this timer in a stable mode. And here we have the section of the multiplier, the Villar cascade, these two capacitors and two diodes. As we can see, the output pin number 3 of the 555 is fed to the Villar cascade. This circuit can work with 5 to 15 volts DC and in the output we will have almost double that value, minus some losses in the circuit, approximately half a volt. Let's test our voltage doubler. I have my power supply connected to the circuit and the output connected to the multimeter to check the voltage at the output. So let me turn on the power supply at a value of 5 volts and we can see that we have at the output a voltage of 9.6 volts, almost double the input voltage. So if we increase the input voltage, for example, to 8 volts, at the output we have double that value. And we can use an input voltage of up to some 15 volts in order to get 30 volts at the output. Let's make a test with these LEDs. I have 5 LEDs in series and let's see <coughs> how much voltage do we need to make them work. Thirteen volts seems to be enough to light up the LEDs. So we will need around seven volts and the voltage doubler to make them work. At seven volts directly from the power supply the LEDs do not work but we will use our multiplier and let's see if the LEDs work using the voltage doubler. I think it's in reverse there it is. We are using the LEDs with 7 volts input. We must say that this circuit is not a high power one. It works with currents of around 10 to 20 milliamps. Okay, thank you for watching my video. I hope you like it and see you in the next one.